has uh, just finished up three-part series on what we've learned from Andrew Barry's first two drafts. Uh, Tim, last time you were on, we talked about the first two. Uh, earlier today, the, the part three came out. Tell us about it and what you found out. Yeah, so part one, I talked about how Andrew Barry's leaned towards drafting younger players in his first two drafts. Part two was about the power five prospects. Part three is focusing on five stars, you know, in each of his last two drafts, he's taken a five-star prospect in the later rounds. In 2020, it was Michigan receiver Donovan Peoples-Jones. They made him a sixth-round pick. He's been pretty productive for a sixth-round pick, almost 1,000 yards, you know, in his first two seasons in the NFL. Last year, it was Georgia safety Richard LeCount in the fifth round. We didn't see a lot of him in the regular season, but, you know, it's to be expected for a, for a young player, and obviously he really flashed in the preseason. And, you know, there's plenty of reason to uh, – Trust in a five-star. There are five stars for a reason coming out of high school, whether they're incredibly talented, they have tremendous physical abilities that separate them from the thousands of high school prospects in their recruiting class. And I, you look at this class in particular, two guys, two guys that are former five stars have a chance to go be top five picks. I look at Alabama tackle Evan Neal, Oregon edge rusher Kayvon Thibodeau. Both guys could be top five picks. They might both, they both have a shot to be number one picks then also another guy, Derek Stingley Jr. from LSU, um, number one guy, depending on where you look at the time of his recruiting class, I believe it was 2019. He's got a chance to go very high. But for the Browns in particular, if you're look if they're looking to go and continue this trend, you know, there's several guys they can go for. In the second round alone, you know, they could have an option at 44 if they stay there to pick between guys like George Pickens from Georgia, who I've talked about before. I really like him because of his physical his size and his hands are tremendous. And then there's also DeMarvin Leal, a defensive tackle from Texas A&M. Didn't exactly have the ideal career that you expect from a five-star, but, you know, still got very good physical traits. Guy has got a lot of versatility. Then you look at day three. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan late. I, I put him in my latest seven-round mock draft a couple weeks ago. Uh, Ole Miss running back Jerry Neely. He's a smaller guy, but he's very good with the ball in his hands especially, you know, out of the backfield in certain situations. In this zone blocking team, you don't necessarily need big power backs. You think guys going to find the hole, and I think Jerry and Ely can do that. You got to start preparing, I think, you know, with the Sean Watson's cap number skyrocketing in 2023. You might have to start preparing for life without Kareem Hunt, so that's that could be a name to watch later on. But plenty of options if Barry wants to go three for three on taking a five-star.